In Activity 3, Properties of Ocean Water, students determine the salinity of ocean water. They first discover how the presence of salt increases the density of ocean water, and then make a simple hydrometer to measure the relative density of salt water samples. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 3, Parts A and B. 10 centimeter hydrometer pencils. Pre-printed stickers. Thumbtacks. Plastic tubes with bases. One gallon plastic containers. 10 ounce plastic cups. Bag of marbles. Container of table salt. And a plastic spoon. You will also need to provide pencils, fresh egg, roll of paper towels, pen or marker, roll of masking tape, and tap water. To prepare for session one, make a copy of activity sheet three, part A, for each student. To demonstrate density for the class, you will need a tube filled with marbles and some tap water. And to demonstrate buoyancy, you will need a clear plastic cup table salt, a plastic spoon, some tap water, and an egg. To begin session one, review the composition of ocean water, which is 96.5% water and 3.5% salts. Tell students, we know that salt changes the flavor of water. Then ask, what other properties of water are affected by salt? Discuss their ideas. Guide students to understand that salt lowers the freezing and boiling points of water. Then hold up a plastic tube filled with marbles and ask, is this tube full? Students should note that the tube is indeed full of marbles. Pour tap water into the tube until the tube is filled to the top. Hold up the tube again and ask, is the tube full now? Students should see that the spaces between the marbles are filled in with water and the tube is now full. This tube is a model of how salt dissolves in water to form salt water. The blue marbles represent water molecules and the water between the marbles represents particles of dissolved salt filling in the spaces between the molecules of water. Help students understand that whenever dissolved salts are present in water, they fill in the spaces between the molecules of water as they are in the ocean. Define density for the class as the amount of matter in a given volume. Guide students to understand that matter is anything that takes up space, and the more matter in a given volume of substance, the denser that substance will be. Further explain that the presence of dissolved salt changes the density of water. The more salt is dissolved in water, the denser the water becomes. Ocean water, therefore, is denser than fresh water. Next, distribute activity sheet three, part A, and have students complete it. Then, fill a clear plastic cup with warm tap water to about two centimeters from the top. Hold up an egg and ask students to predict whether it will float or sink in the cup of water. Gently place the egg in the cup of water and watch it sink. Then remove the egg and add four spoonfuls of salt to the water and stir until the salt is completely dissolved. Again, ask students to predict whether the egg will float or sink. Next, gently place the egg in the water and observe it float. Have students record their observations on their activity sheets. To review, ask, which is denser, salt water or fresh water? Students should respond that salt water is denser. Then ask, what can you conclude about the density of a liquid and how well things float in it? Students should understand that the denser the liquid, the better or higher things float in it. To conclude session one, return the marbles, salt, and plastic spoon to the kit. To prepare for session two, Make a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Part B, for each student. To demonstrate how a hydrometer works, you will need an assembled wooden hydrometer, a plastic tube, a plastic cup, some tap water, table salt, and a spoon. Prepare four water samples ahead of time so that the water is clear. 
Sample A should contain two quarts of water and one cup of salt. Sample B should contain two quarts of water and a half cup of salt. Sample C should contain two quarts of plain tap water with no salt. Sample D should contain two quarts of water and one and a half cups of salt. Set up four distribution stations, A, B, C, and D. At each station, place four plastic cups filled with the corresponding water sample for a total of 16 cups. Keep the large containers handy for refills as needed. Each team of four will need one 10 centimeter hydrometer pencil, a pre-printed hydrometer sticker, one thumbtack, one plastic tube with base, and access to the water samples at each distribution station. Make sure to have paper towels available in case of spills. To begin session two, hold up the pencil hydrometer you have assembled. Explain that a hydrometer is a device that measures the density of a liquid. A scientific hydrometer consists of a glass tube with a weighted bulb at the bottom. The hydrometer is placed in a liquid so that it floats upright. The higher it floats in the liquid, the denser the liquid is said to be. Distribute activity sheet three, part B, and tell students to answer question one. Then demonstrate for students how a hydrometer works. Fill a plastic tube with tap water and set the tube on its base. Lower the hydrometer into the tube and note the level at which the hydrometer is floating in the water. Next, pour the water from the tube into a plastic cup. Then add one spoonful of salt and stir. Pour this salt water sample back into the tube. Drop in the hydrometer and read the level at which the hydrometer is floating. The level should be higher than that of the fresh water. Ask students what does a higher reading indicate? Help students understand that the higher reading indicates that salt water is denser than fresh water. To review, instruct students to answer question two. Next, divide the class into teams of four and distribute the materials. Tell students to peel off the hydrometer sticker from the backing and affix the sticker just above the metal ring on the pencil, with the 20 closest to the eraser end. Then carefully push the thumbtack into the eraser. This end will be the bottom of the hydrometer. Bring students' attention to the four distribution stations you have set up, and instruct one student from each team to go to the distribution station and get a cup full of the water sample. To test their samples, have students pour the water into their tubes, insert the hydrometer, and record the reading on their activity sheets. Next, tell students to pour the water sample back into the cup and return it to the station where they got it. Instruct students to collect a sample at the next station and then repeat this procedure until each team has tested all four samples. When teams have finished testing, review their results as a class. Students should have discovered that sample C, the plain tap water, had the lowest density and the lowest salinity, and that sample D, which had the most salt, had the highest density and also the highest salinity. Then ask students, why might sailors be interested in knowing the salinity of the water in which they are traveling? Help students understand that the saltier the water, the higher their boats will float, and the higher the boats float, the more weight they can carry without sinking. The danger lies in bringing heavily loaded boats from oceans or seas into rivers or lakes. Finally, inform students that in the next activity, they are going from water to land, that is, the land beneath the oceans. To conclude this activity, Discard the water samples, rinse and dry the tubes and cups, and return all materials to the kit. Make sure to keep the wooden hydrometers, as you will need them for an assessment activity. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.